from VOA Learning English. This is the economics report. Many migrant women go to work in private homes as cleaners, cooks, and caretakers. They are called domestic workers. Recently, several incidents in Asia and the Middle East have brought attention to abuse of such workers. A court in Malaysia sentenced a man and his wife to death in March for starving to death a 26-year-old domestic worker from Indonesia. Another Indonesian maid says she was beaten by her employers in Hong Kong. The 23-year-old spent almost a month in a hospital. Pictures of the injuries and reports of her 20-hour workdays led to protests across Indonesia. The International Labor Organization is a United Nations agency. It estimates 50 million migrants are employed as domestic workers. About 5 million of them are Indonesian women. They sent almost $10 billion back to their families at home. Audrey Guichon is with the group Anti-Slavery International. She says the foreign labor program in the Middle East, called the Kafala system, leaves workers at risk for abuse. In Saudi Arabia, 42 Indonesians are awaiting death sentences. Half of them are believed to be domestic workers. Darsim Tawar faced a death sentence in 2011 for killing her Saudi employer. She argued that he was raping her at the time. Officials changed her sentence only after her supporters paid the family of the dead man. In April, the Indonesian government negotiated better conditions for Indonesians working in Saudi Arabia. The agreement signals the end of Indonesia's three-year suspension of labor exports to Saudi Arabia. However, critics say Indonesia must do more. For VOA Learning English, I'm Laurel Bowman.